Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Dennis Van Kampen and in this video tutorial series we will discuss SAP HANA administration. The topic of this video tutorial is the Secure User Store, HTTP User Store. The Secure User Store, or with the command HTTP User Store, is a tool that's installed with the SAP HANA client and the server. You can use the tool to store connection information securely on the client so that you can use it, for example, in a script or by a service. So how does it work? Let's open a command window here in the HTTP client directory and if we enter HTTP user store without any command, it will print out the help screen. It will do the same if you would use dash H as option or with the help command. Now, as you can see, we have a few options, which of course are optional. We have a command and some arguments. Now, the most useful option is the dash I. That's to run the command in interactive mode. So when you're going to set the key, you don't want to have the password printed out on the screen or in the history file. So we're going to use that in a moment. And then for the commands, we have three options. We can set a key, we can delete a key, or list a key. The fourth option, change key, will be executed for us automatically when we set keys, and this will generate a new encryption key and encrypt the password of the file. There's no way how you can get the password back, so if you're interested in the password, you cannot use the HP user store to, to query that information. It's all encrypted and it's non-readable. So let's first check what we have in our user store with HTTP user store list. And it will print out the data file location and the key file location for us, which is by default in the program files directory and then in the hidden folder .htb with the host name and an identifier. Now if we briefly switch to the HANA server and enter the same command, HTTP user store list, we can see the data file and key file are now stored for the server in slash user SAP SID home and then also the hidden HTTP directory. Note that here we have two keys. One is called backup and another is called H11 SDB control with the connection environment that's hostname and port and the user. On our Windows systems, we do not have any key yet. So we're going to add that with the set command. Then we're going to give it the key a name. You can use any name, although only letters and numbers can be used. No at signs or dollars and that kind of stuff. I will define this key for user DBA to connect to system H11. Key name is case sensitive. Then we're going to set the environment. Let's pick this up from here and the user DBA. Now, of course, I do not want to enter a password here on the prompt. So I'm now going to use the option minus I or dash I before the command and I will now enter the password interactively. In this case, it will not be shown on the screen. Enter to store the key. And if we bring up our HTTP user store list command again, we'll see that the key is added. Now, how can you use this? Well, for example, with the HTTP SQL command, uppercase U for user store key, and then the name of the key, enter, and you're connected which we can confirm with a backslash S for status. So much about the secure user store. You can find it documented in the SAP HANA security guide, which you can download or access free of charge. SAP help portal on help.sap.com. Thank you for watching this SAP HANA Academy video.